Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost in My Library. My name is Kate, and today we are doing my June wrap-up. How exciting. Some statistics for the month of June. I have, we'll start with the number of pages I read. So I read 1,825 pages, which comes to six books, six books. I read three fantasy, two sci-fi, and one contemporary. Uh, what are the fantasy could classic? I don't know. Classic fantasy. I don't really know how to classify it. It is what it is. It's going to be fantasy at the moment. We'll get to it here in just a second. So, uh, age groups. I read three children's books and three young adult books. Um, I had to check on a couple of these to know what, um, they're classified as, but the ones I did check are young adults, so we'll get there in just a second. So, um, for stars, I read two three stars, one 3.5, and three five star books, so I had a pretty good reading month, so. That's the stats. Let's get to the books. Alright, so the first book I'm going to talk about is something I actually don't have at the moment physically. It's somewhere else. So, it's Peter Pan. It's the one I said I don't really know how to classify it. If it's fantasy, if it's... whatever. It's a classic classic book um, by J.M. Barry. Something Barry. Don't remember. Um... If you go into reading Peter Pan thinking the Disney version is like the book, it's not. It's more gruesome, and I, I, I struggled to call it a children's book. And, like, my heart's like, well, yeah, it's children's because it's Peter Pan, but, like, the book is more gruesome than, um, like children's books of today so like it's a classic children's book I guess you could classify it as um but like think Grimm's fairy tales those are also technically for children but you know the classics kind of get gruesome so things I liked about the book I liked the characters except I really didn't like Peter Pan honestly he's a jerk He's the worst, honest. The title character is honestly the worst. Um, Captain Hook, villain. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's bloodthirsty and like it's really gruesome. When I say this, it's gruesome. <laughs> it's gruesome. Like Peter Pan, just like. He, he cut off the hand of Captain Hook, threw it to the, to the crocodile, and now, like, the crocodile's bloodthirsty. And, I mean, you kind of got that in the movie, but you kind of didn't. I kind of like the movie a whole lot better, the Disney movie, a whole lot better than this book. Um, that's why it got three stars. I wasn't really sure where to put it. It's like, it's short and sweet, and it's, it does its job, um, like, something, I don't know, I don't know, it's okay, I really thinking about putting it down to two stars, cause it's not that great, if I'm being honest, it is my least favorite book of the month, so, there you go. Alright. On to so, this one got its rating because it was just boring and not a whole lot happened. And it might also get bumped down. Um, now, don't be fooled. This isn't the book. It's not the whole. It's This is seven books in one. It's the entire Chronicles of Narnia. 
I read the first one, which is The Magician's Nephew, or the first one chronologically, not the first one that he wrote. It's confusing. This book is um, done chronologically rather than uh, published dates, so there's that. I actually didn't know that until I picked, started looking this book up on Goodreads. It's, it is what it is. Um, also, this book's really old. Sorry. It literally fell apart right there. Like, half. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a timeline and the book's falling apart. It's a timeline of events. That's what it is. Um, yeah. So... The characters, I liked Polly. I didn't like Diggory all that much. He was okay, but he was really annoying. Um, the magician is terrible. Hated him. Aslan is in it. I love Aslan. We all love Aslan. He's fine. He does his job. He's good. We all love Aslan. So, um, yeah, the witch is in this. Terrible person, obviously. I, this might get popped down too because it's just boring. The magic's kind of interesting. I mean, like with the rings and everything. Um, that whole idea kind of made me think of Through the Looking Glass, uh, Alice in Wonderland. It's just boring. And I'm having so much trouble with this that his writing just seems i don't know love the movies the books just don't compare i don't know i hate saying that because i love the chronicles of narnia but i think it's just the writing style that's getting to me um and i'm finally admitting that sometimes the movie's better and I'm hoping the movie's better with the Murder on the Orient Express. Don't at me. It's, I hate that book. Anyways, um, for right now, it's still $30. I, it's gonna probably, you know, bump it down to $2.5. That's it. Alright, so the next book I gave 3.5 stars. This one is a solid 3.5 stars. It's staying where it is. That is... Cinder by Stephanie Meyer. Um, what to say about this book? The beginning was hard to get through, but once I got into the world and figuring out what is going on, it was actually fine. So, yeah, um, I really enjoyed it and I really want to get to Scarlet. And I saw this the other day and I was just like, hi, I've already bought you, so I don't need you. Well, I saw, yeah, I saw yesterday in the library, they didn't have the rest of the series, and I just wanted to pick up a book, ended up picking up a different book, um, because I own this, so I may end up reading the short story, I don't know when, but, um, yeah, it was alright. Want to read the rest of the series, kind of sad that we're not going to be following Cinder in the rest, um, because things happen, and I want her and Kai to get together, and I'm really sad, but it is what it is. Alright, now we're getting to the good stuff. Alright, so to my five stars. This one uh, was highly, highly, highly recommended by Paperback Dreams and Cat. Um, it was, I was like, okay, well, that kind of sounds interesting. I really want to know what this about it's contemporary um so I was just really interested in what this book what why it was so highly recommended by her and I respect her opinion so finally picked it up Radio Silence by Alice Osman fell in love love that it's not a romance it's about a podcast which I love um I want the audiobook so badly for this book. 
I want to hear how the podcast reads. Um, I'm going to go searching to see if there's an audio book of this because it's so good. Oh my gosh. It's The book is so good. And just like the fact that it strips, tells you in the middle, like, we're not getting together. This isn't a romance. And I'm like, oh, thank you. It's a wonderful friendship story of friendship. And it is just so good. It got so frustrating at times because of terrible parents, terrible mom, one terrible mom. Um, that's not the main character's mom. The main character's mom. It's really cool. Really good. I feel for um, Francis in this book. I feel for Alad in this book. I feel for Kari's. I f Carrie's. I feel for. Oh, um, Daniel, <laughs> his name is Daniel, right? Hold on, I'm so sorry. I think I'm pretty sure it's Daniel. It's Daniel, right? It starts with a D. Yeah, Daniel. Ha! Huh. I remembered it correctly. Daniel, so good. Read it. So good representation. I don't know about, like, she's half Ethiopian. That doesn't come up very much, that she's half Ethiopian. Really at all. And I think that was on purpose because she, her father is not in the picture at all. And that's the Ethiopian part of her. So it, she's being raised by her mother, who is white. Um... And European so like she's not getting any of the Ethiopian heritage so I think that's fair um, because she's just not being exposed to it like other than she's half Ethiopian yeah it just it's that it is what it is five stars so good and I just dropped the book. That's sad. I'm sorry. So my five star reread was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I don't think there's anything to be said about Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I love it so much. I read through this really, really quickly. Um, it's very similar to the movie from what I remember of the movie. Um, there was some things different. I kind of wish the dragon thing was still in the in the movie, um, but it's not. The dragon part would have been so good in the movie, but it's not in the movie. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you, Harry Potter. Harry Potter movies. Not the book. The book's good. Read the book. Anyways, on to my five, last five star. Anyways, so my last five star is a book that I've been wanting to read because it's my favorite Star Wars character in all of everything, and it's Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. I love Ahsoka Tano. I love her as a character, and I can't wait for episode nine because there's been some rumors that she's going to be in episode nine. And I'm freaking out because I need Ahsoka more. I need more of her. I, I just, I'm so excited. I need her. I will, I'll be sitting in the theater of episode nine. And if she shows up, I will let loud screeching noise will be heard throughout the whole theater. Me freaking out that they actually did bring my girl, Ahsoka Tano, into the mainstream audience. Um, there's also rumors that Ezra's going to be there. I, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about episode 9 because I'm excited. And I'm hoping, I'm sitting here hoping that they bring in some of the cartoon characters who are canon, 
like all cards all the cartoons are canon I'm excited I just need more of her I need to know what happened to her after her fight with Vader that's all I need to know uh, I'm not satisfied with her story ending how it ended with her and Vader and if the cartoons have to stay canon there's only one satisfying way to really end her story with Vader and I just it would break my heart but I'm not satisfied with how it ended at all and I can see like some of this from the the commercials of um Clone, the next Clone Wars season, I can see the beginnings of this, um, like the flashbacks being shown in season seven, and I'm really, really excited, really, really excited. This isn't a spoiler because it's in the trailer, but she fights Darth Maul, and I am freaking out. She fights Darth Maul in this book. And I am excited to see this. I was crying by the end because it was just so beautiful. She had a reunion with a friend and I cried through that whole scene because it was beautiful. And like, it was beautiful seeing her really come into her own and be, be like, I'm done with running and trying to hide and like, she was like, I'm ready to fight again. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's go. And it's just so beautiful. Read it. If you like Star Wars, you must read this book. You must read it. Especially if you love the Clone Wars. Read Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. Favorite book of the month. Probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year. I just, I love this book so much. Read it. I love Ahsoka. And you know, if Ahsoka comes, I'll probably go back, come back to my room and just read this book again because it was so good. I just need more Ahsoka. I will cry my eyes out if she dies in episode 9 because I won't know how to handle that. I don't know how they could kill her and just it be satisfying. I do not want Kylo Ren to kill her. Like, no, that's not happening. And just like her force, like, dead, like Luke, not happening. Not happening. All right. So, in terms of my bookopoly, I read three of my books, almost finished a fourth, almost finished Far From the Tree. Some of these I didn't read. I read before I did the Bookopoly thing, which were the Harry Potter book and um, The Magician's Nephew. I read Ahsoka um, as Other World. I think that was what it was. Or did I read? I think I read Ahsoka before. Yeah, I read Ahsoka before I did it. Um, so did I only read... No, Peter Pan. Peter Pan was the other world. And then this was contemporary. And this was sci-fi. I believe. Um, I didn't read Far From the Tree, which was, uh, like, TBR. Uh, another book TBR's TBR. I didn't read... Um, Nightwing, Volume 1, uh, which was for comics, I believe, and I didn't read, um, the first book of The Wizard of Oz, uh, which was TBR Jar. Anyways, so, that's it. I had a pretty good reading month. It was decent. I'm hoping to read some good ones this month. I'm still struggling through my first book of the month. Um, so, there's that. Alright, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys. Bye!